still a lot of similarities, you know, when you can see skeletal issues, you know there's a problem in there. When they're obese, there's a problem in there. So the body condition score is basically one that, that helps you determine, you know, what's too fat, what's too skinny, okay? It could be a, a nutritional issue. It could be a, a, a health issue. It could be a, a, just a, a disease or something that, that's going through. We don't know. So just because it's, it's one way, it, there might be something because it's the other way, okay? It could be uh, like cattle during certain times, they need more nutrients. There may be food out there, but it may not have enough quality of food in the, in the feed or the hay, okay? Basically, that, a lot of this will, I've already said, but basically this is, you know, what is required from the animal may be different than what the food is available. Does that make sense? We have hay out there, but if it's low nutrients, they can eat all they want and they're not gonna gain weight. They're not gonna appear healthy, okay? One is emancipated. I mean, this is bones, again, kind of like horses, one through three. The skinnier, the more bones or more angularity of, of the animal, we know we have a problem. When we get through four, five, and, and, and six, we can see there, there's some muscle. They're starting to, the ribs are starting to not be seen. Um, the angularity of, of the hips and the hooks and the pins, they're starting to be covered. The backbone is starting to be covered. We're starting to get square in the hip because we have muscle tissue now. And then when we start getting, getting there, we're talking about basically obese, okay? This is, there's not very many like that, but they are out there. Most of them are gonna be in that, that four to six range. When we're talking about uh, uh, breeding cycles, we wanna try to keep them in, in that five to five to six range, okay? Now, just because I call it a five and you call it a six, that's, that's not a problem. But if you call it a three and he calls it an eight, we know we have, we have some issues, okay? And you can, you can split the difference between a five and six. You can say five and a half. These are the, the, the body points. You have your hooks, which is number four. Your pins are number three. And basically, that's this area, your hip area is what that is. One is, is the back down the loin. Two is a, is a tail head, and if that tail head is like this, you got some problems. When it starts filling out over that, that hip area, over that tail head and gets fatty tissue, that's what we like. And then your brisket and ribs are all, all in the front, and of course, you, you know, more ribs you see, the lower the number it is. This is at that tail head area, right, right through here, okay? That's just a, a different side of it. The fatter that is up there, the healthier that, that animal is as far as a body condition score. If it's real narrow like this, you know there's a, there's a health issue of some type. Is it, is it a 12-year-old cow? You know, that makes a difference because we have teeth issues. If it's, if it's a three-year-old cow and she's like this, you know, there, there's something going on. Is it a nutrient? We don't know. That's something where you have to start checking out. Um, there's the, the, the vertebrae. Like I said, if you can see that, that bone up there, it's not good. We want to see that covered a little bit. Ribs, if you can see the back side of the ribs, that's not good. If you, you might see some of the fronter side, but you don't want to see any of them back. Okay, this cat on top, you don't see any angularity, do we? Hips are covered, no ribs. She's going to be in that, that seven range. Tail head is, is full. When we get down here, and I realize it's a black cow, black cat, black hided, which is hard, hard to see. But you can tell, you can see the bones up there, you can see the tail head, you can tell she's, she's hungry for some reason. That one's probably around, around that three range. The, the four, five, and six, like I said, four is a little less, but you can, you can see more ribs, three to five. When we get to body condition score of five, we're talking about one to two ribs. And if you don't see any ribs, that's a six, okay? All right? But you can definitely tell between a six and an obese. You can tell that there's fat everywhere. In the brisket, tail head, udders, there's a lot of, you can tell a lot of difference. <laughs> like, like, like here, it says a little bit of the spine is showing. 
versus that one mole of gold, the number three, you could tell even in black hat and black hatted that she was very thin. You could tell that through a, a, a basically a poor picture. Number two, you see several ribs. Number three, she still got some angularity in the hips. Four, she's starting to get covered up a little bit. Five, you don't see any ribs. You really don't see any angularity. You can tell she's healthy. She looks good. Number six, we're getting more healthy. And seven, see we got a lot of fat through here. Let's see how square they are when we talk when we start talking about that compared to number two and number three, see how she's sunk in, lost a lot of the muscle tone to her. So if you guessed on a number, what kind of, what are we talking about here? A body condition score. How many ribs do you see? Do you see the hips? Do you see the, the spine? Eh, at the most three, you know, two maybe, two to three, somewhere along in there. That one's, that, that one's got a lot of issues. You know, you see a herd of these, something like this, there's a problem. That's when you start visiting with the donor. If it's one out of, out of, a, out of a herd, you don't, you're not worried, worried about that one, about that situation. I might see a bone in there, do y'all? Probably so, uh, loading them up, you're not gonna be able to just rush them in there. You're gonna have to make them easy. You don't want them in their pack so much because if they do fall down, then they're gonna get trampled on, things like that. That would be, be my, my thought on that. And some of these, these cattle haulers, you know, they're, they're you know, the, the trailers, they jam them packed full, okay? But they're, they generally don't look like that, you know, the picture before. This one's a, a two. Like I said, you can see there's still some spine. You can see there's no hips in there. I mean, she's lost her muscle. You see ribs. This one's got some problems. She's not, I mean, she looks like she's kind of healthy, but she's hungry. She needs, you know, her ears are up. She's looking at you. When we go to here, again, healthy. She looks healthy, but uh, I mean, it, she's, but you can tell she's, she's brilliant thin. You know, she don't need to go any lower than this. But she's, she's in that, that line that if you have a herd of these, there's a problem. If it's one, you know, maybe it's sickness. Maybe you got a disease. Here, you can still see the angularities, loss of muscle mass, tail head's not full. You can see some ribs, the backbone. But what's right, what's right beside her? Calf standing in a pasture there, so she's getting some groceries. She's doing good on, on, on that side, but is it the calf that's pulling the nutrients away or is she not getting enough nutrients at all? Here we go, we got angularity is not near as bad, a few ribs, We're starting to see a little bit there, a little bit of muscle tone coming back in. You can still see the backbone, but it's not near, near angular, right? You can start to see some filling out there. And she's in a pasture there. So you can tell fresh green grass, she's not hurting. And no, nothing out even behind her. See, that one looks good, those look good. So there's something with that one. Maybe she just got the calf pulled off. You know, we don't know, but she ought to be, uh, she's okay. Here, uh, getting a drink of water. When they get a drink of water, they will fill up in this, in this area right along in here. But you can tell her tail head's full, she's getting some muscle tone, she's not angular. You can see just a bump of two ribs right there. Very good, good health. Again, what are, what, what are some causes? Is it just because she had a calf and she's pulled down more nutrients? Is it because that the, that the landowner does not know or the, the producer? You know, I've got 20 head on two acres. Well, they're starving to death, you know. You have to take some cautions in there. Did the um, did finances, you know, are they hoarding them type situation? You know, if it's one or two, it's probably not a problem. But if it's the whole herd like that, that's a different, you know. Did they bring the, the, these, they're healthy cattle, they bring them up to a lot and they got a lot of 20 head in, in a small area. If they got a truck coming in that afternoon, that's not that big a deal. But if they've been in that small area for two weeks, that's a problem. Then, you know, mental, mental illness and, and hoarding, like, like we discussed, do they just not know? We talked about the body condition score. You know, when we get in that four, five, and six, that's where 90, high percent of them are. The wildfire, back in last year, I think, about this time last year, you know, 
they lost a lot of, of grazing opportunities. Fences were down. You know, did something like that come through? So yeah, those cattle, they're probably gonna be a little bit poor at health, but you know the situation. So you just gotta, gotta, I gotta look at some of the, the whole situation, see what the producer is doing. Is it one, is it the whole herd? Just make some common sense and, and maybe ask a few questions. Cruelty, you know. Are hot shots cruel? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know. Um, nowadays we're going to a, a softer side and you're using the, uh, the the rods with the um, flag on them. You know, doing that and it makes that noise. You know, that turns them right there. Um, you know, did they have a, a wire wrapped around them? You know, been out in the pasture, hadn't seen. You know. It's hard, it's hard to tell, but if you see someone hurting it, you know, like you said, picture in time, are they branding it? You know, are they, are they, are they trying to help for, for the future of vaccinations? You gotta find out the whole, whole scenario. Well, it, depend, it depends on the, on, on the type of cattle and it depends upon what forage you're talking about. Wheat, 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 wheat pasture is two, probably, probably two. two. two is that pretty close, Dr. Lohman? Wheat pasture, how many head, how many head per, head per, per cattle? Or, now, if you're talking about like, like native grass, probably 10 acres per, per one head or pair. Yeah. So there's a difference. Depends upon the animal itself, the animal unit, plus your forage. Mm -hmm.